the four gates, the center line uh, motion from different zone, it is revealed in this part four. Okay, now one key words in part four need to be really careful is the words called integrations, meaning the body when you do certain thing, like if I do this or I do this or I do this. The body, the whole body has to be in the integrated states. It's not broken states, okay, like just moving my hand one side or something. No, the whole body has to be integrated, okay. So that is the part four. Now, part five, okay. Part five is after you develop the body of the art. You know how to apply, how to handle the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the different way of a, of a, of a moment, moment, uh, uh, incoming movement. It get to the capture of the center line and the, uh, the, 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 the basic of the Wing Chun. Center line theory and uh, center line application. So in this part, it start with this thing, okay? So the first part, okay, the first part, Yi Chi The second part, this. The third part with this type of stuff. The fourth, with this type of stuff. The fifth part, start with this, okay? This is about capturing, guarding the center line. Okay. Now, this one is the the, 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 the this part is the application, the start of the scene showing the, the core applications of capturing center line, the 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 we can call it the momentum or the strategy of Wing Chun, the basic core Wing Chun strategy. Okay, now this hand is called the uh, now today we call it high Tan Sao, but in the ancient this is called Zhao Yang. This is from White Crane. See, if you look at the White Crane guy, they do this. That is the Zhao Yang. We are different, right? If you look at the white hand, like the Karate Sanchi, they do this. Right? But we do it in the center line. We are different. This is Wing Chun, right? <coughs> different than, uh, than, than, than the white crane. Uh, even though uh, we, <coughs> uh, the, the white crane is the major art, but we do it slightly in the variation <coughs> because our strategy is different and the power generation is, is, uh, is uh, evolved uh, in, a, uh, in a different way okay <coughs> so so you see this five parts from the from the, uh, the, the standing still the losing up to the open up the whole body transporting the force up and down the body side and then the application side which is handling of the all the direction need to be handled and then to the momentum of capture the center line okay so the fourth the fourth and five part four and part five is the applications of the art the part one two three is the uh, the body of the art so your body of the art Supporting the last two part, which is the applications of arts. Okay, now you see how this small student tower is so complete from the uh, the the, the uh, uh, development of the of the basic to the open up the joints to the transporting of the uh, the, the force. And then do the applications of a different part, uh, handling different part or different scenario, different gates, 
and then to handle of the momentum, the handling of the momentum, make use of the uh, 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 center line theory and then the capture of the center and guarding the center. It is a full piece here. Okay? So if we train Xiu Tao, it is not about just go down there meaning all this this uh, this hand technique. No. Each part has a theme. And each part has to achieve something. The first one, as I mentioned before, you need to achieve the, the loose and uh, the, the, <coughs> the the structure and then the uh, the, the, the force to be able to flow up down from the ground first stuff. The second be able to open up the whole body, every joints, like a snake and a worm. Okay? <coughs> every joint is have the awareness and the moving. The third one be able to transport energy, uh, sorry, not energy, force back and forth. So you can do that to, to feel that as a accept and a throwing a medicine ball to see how the body can okay, develop those things. The fourth is of course how to handle different directions, how to respond from a different right uh, attack from a different direction, say. The fifth is how to guard the center line, how to capture the center line, and how to <coughs> how to uh, 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 using the, the, the center line theory. Okay. So you see the whole thing? Okay? And uh, so every time when we practice Sulin Tao in the beginning we were expected to to do this. So because we know the notions, we know what we are training. The more we train, the better we are. We develop the skill, okay. And uh, so the sixth element is inside there. The chi, as well I mentioned before, right? The, uh, the the body, the mind, the breathing, the chi, the, uh, the 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 jing, the momentum, right? The, so in this, we, we practice, you know, like uh, when when we accept and uh, accept and release or. or or issue the, the, the medicine ball, there's about Jing. When we do the, the this one, the last section, there's about the momentum handling. So everything's there. Okay? So this is the basic according to the, the ancient. Simple but sophisticated. My analogy to it is like the Beethoven Moonlight Sonata. It is very simple, but it's very sophisticated. But unless we know what it is, there's no way we do anything. We cannot just uh, a key on the piano with a big sound. That doesn't make sense. Okay? And, and as for internal qi and jing, everything is there. Because there's six elements. Okay? So this is what I'd like to share with you today. <clears throat>